This is the video for round 24 of the border, which has caused many, many, many headaches. So I really want to do it again for you and have it really slow. Just a note, all the double trebles of any kind, ahead, behind, double treble two together, they're all made into the front loops of the round two below. So that's that was round 22. So that's where we made front loops. And those are the only ones that are available to us at the moment, except for the single crochet, of course, but that's, you know, that's a given. So I've already made the chain one and the corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So our first stitch is a single crochet. Now the next is a double treble 3A 2B. What that means is that from the current stitch, which is this one, we go one, two, three ahead and one, two below. This is the front loop. That horizontal bar is the front loop that we are working the double treble into. Now if you crochet very loosely, that make may make the stitch too long. So maybe you get away or you better use a treble 3A to B instead. If you crochet very tight, it may pull on the work that you do. And maybe you need to make a triple treble instead. Just keep that in mind. The double treble is in the middle and it kind of works for me. For me, it works best. So let's do that. So for the double treble, yarn over three times. And then we have already established it's the first loop that is available to us that we go into. Okay, so we'll make it double treble. Now, I like to push them together in order to avoid too big of a, a loop here. But don't worry about it. We'll crochet over it. It will not be seen anyway. So you don't need to stress about that. So now we have made one stitch, which means we have to skip the stitch behind. And this will be our next stitch. So two single crochet and then a single crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch. Then two single crochet ag again. And now we're going back into the same front loop that we made the double treble in before. So now it's a double treble 3B, 2B, which means from the current stitch we go back three, one, two, three, and we have to count this, one, two. So we're back in that front loop. Just making the double treble. And as I said, I try to keep my my loop small here too. And sometimes that just doesn't happen and that's not too much of a deal. So now we have worked this stitch, which would have gone into this one. So we skip this one. Next stitch is again a single crochet. And if you do have trouble, take the chart. I'm going to show you on the work that I've already done. Oh no, it's too, too dark. Let's use a lighter one. So, so this is what we do. Yeah, we, we've done this, we've done that. So now we do one backwards again. And I urge you, so that's a double treble, 3B, 2B, same as before, just in the next front loop. You can count it back, it's the next front loop. And, and I, I really urge you to use the resources that are available to you. Yes, there is this video and it's hopefully helpful, but there are also photos. There's a photo tutorial and 
it, it shows where to place the stitches, makes things so much easier. So now we've done this stitch, which is th that one. So we have to skip this one and we've got two single crochet again. So it's a really easy rhythm. It's, I think it's al always, except for this and at the end, and in the middle it's double treble to single, double treble to single, and then something, like in this case it's a double treble two together, which is what we're going to make here. And we work the first leg in the next available front loop. So double treble, yarn over three times, next available front loop is here, so we go into that for the first leg. Work the double treble except for the last pull through. So keep two loops on the hook. Yarn over three times again. And now we work into the next front loop that is available to us. This is the double treble that will go over the popcorn. So here we go. And now we go through all three loops. And you see, I do have a bigger loop, but that's not important. Actually, it's quite good because it helps us to work into that later on, which I will show you. So we've worked one stitch, which is the popcorn. So that was the closing chain of our popcorn. We skip that. And this will be our next stitch we work into. And it's a single crochet again. Two single crochets. So you see now we've changed direction. Okay? It was forwards, back, back, double. Now we go forwards again. So we follow this lead. Double treble, 3A, 2B. Three ahead, two rounds below. It's the next available front loop. Double treble. Okay, let's get this right. So we've worked this stitch, so we skip that behind, two single crochet. Okay, so now we've worked ahead. Okay, so if you look, ahead back, back, double, ahead, so that's this stitch. Now we work ahead once more. Yeah, now we're three times. Next available front loop. Keep it that if you can, don't worry about it if you can't. We work this stitch as a double treble. We skip it. The next is two single crochet. So, okay, let's have a look. We work the head, back, back, double. Ahead, ahead, and now we're going to have this stitch. We're going to have a popcorn later, so we need to prepare for that with a single crochet in the back loop only. Two single crochet again. And then we walk backwards. So now we change in direction again. Okay, just going back into that front loop. With a double treble. Or if you need to make a triple treble or a treble only. Whichever you feel is best for how you work. We made a double treble, so we skip this stitch. 
to single crochet. Okay, so we have changed direction again. Now we go back a double treble 3B to B. One, two, three times yarn over, going back into the next available front loop. So you can count them, but you can make your life quite easy and just use the next available front loop. Okay, we work the double treble, we skip a stitch to a single crochet. So we want to go over the popcorn. We have that triangle over the popcorn, which means we have to go back with a double treble once more. One, two, three. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And leave two loops on the hook because this is a double treble two together, which means we need to go to the other side for the second leg. One, two, three, and now pull through all three. So that's your double treble two together with a double treble three B, 2B leg and a double treble 3A 2B uh, yeah 3A 2B leg yeah that's the double treble that's how it's explained in the pattern under the special stitches in the beginning and that's how we're making these double treble two together so that we get around the popcorn so now it's already a, re a pattern repeat if you have a look so we started here it's the same as here. Yeah, we already have done a, re a complete repeat and we just finish. So this is the stitch of the popcorn that we need to skip. Two single crochet ahead. So now we've changed direction again. We go ahead one, two, three times yarn over into the next available front loop. One, two, three, pull through all. Yeah, we skip this stitch behind here, go into the next, make two single crochet. So we've gone forward once, well, twice now, and we go forward a third time double treble 3A to B. Yarn over three times. Next available front loop, which is the last available front loop for us. We skip the stitch behind, which is this one, and go into the next with two single crochet. Now we want to have the same effect as the beginning because everything we do is mirrored in the patterns. So we need to change direction. But in between, we need to have a single crochet in the back loop in preparation for the popcorn stitch that goes into it later. Two single crochet. And now we go back again with a double treble 3B 2B. One, two, three times yarn over. Going back into the same front loop that we worked the previous stitch into. One, two, three, and last. We have worked this stitch and there is one single crochet left over and then we're back in the corner. Okay. So I do hope that this will make round 22 clearer. I will make videos for the other rounds as well, for the complete border actually, but just to get you started, if you have trouble with round 24, this 
is how you do it. And you can just rewind and do it again with me. Okay, so when you're finished, you close with a slip stitch into the first single crochet as always. So hope you enjoy this pattern and don't get discouraged by all those stitches. Just keep the rhythm in mind. The rhythm is as follows. Ahead, pop, back, back, double. Ahead, ahead, back, back, double. Ahead, ahead, pop, back. Yeah? Okay, just keep that in mind. So, have fun! <laughs>